the perfect, true, ultimate form of a celebrity or celebrities are the elect. The perfect, true, ultimate form of a celebrity or celebrities are the 144,000 elect men of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. Okay, and uh, and the other part of this, well, the same part of this title of the show would be Israel's not for sale. Okay, Israel were not for sale. We we were bought with a price. Uh, so with that, I would like to say Kal Halal Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai Bahashim Rachav Kodesh Tawari Yahweh for giving us Yahushai. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who had the one hundred percent spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai in them. Double honors to the CT elders of GMS, our big brothers. Greetings and salutations to the brothers in this country and all over the world who are prophesying in the true name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai, which is none other than the power of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, and anybody who are descendants from those people on their father's side. Shalom to those who are scattered abroad. Shalom to the Akim and the Akwath. I am Yaiqwa, serving the king of the universe. And, um, so, um, yeah, like the title, like I said in the title, the true alter, the true, the perfect, true ultimate form of a celebrity or celebrities are the elect, the elect men of the Lord. And, um, and again, Jake's not for sale. Um, meaning that the ones, the, the ones that are in the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, okay, you saw called blacks. Latinos and Native Americans, if you can see the sign, right? And the people who descend from that sign, we are bought with a price and we're not for sale, meaning that if we're not for sale, you can't be a sellout, okay? And that, that's the difference uh, between the righteous and the wicked of the nation of Israel, okay? And most of the nation of Israel, you're a bunch of sellouts, whether you sold out on higher levels uh, to, the, um, to the elites, to the devil, or, or you sold that on lower levels to be a judge and be part of sororities and fraternities to get a business, do whatever. You know, you sold out uh, um, by voting for this country and, and voting for America, man, voting for the system, you know. Ultimately, if you don't believe in rural, you're, you're a sellout, man. But ultimately, it's people who, well, that's the definition of that, you know. People who sold out, and I'm really targeting, really, the, the wicked celebrities of our people because you're just taking our place for a little bit you know, guiding our people, you know. Uh, but overall, uh, the real celebrities of the new world will be starting Hella Shai from the Heavenly Father Power Yahweh and on to his elect. We're going to be joint areas with him. So this is really concentrated on, on the elect and we're going to be celebrated, man. Okay, so, and celebrated comes from the word celeste, which means uh, celestial, okay, which goes into basically what are celestial or celestial beings or celestial objects are stars. All right, so that's why, again, why? Because stars are up high, they're in the heavens, and you look up, right? And people, uh, and the analogy of a celebrity, people look up, right, to their stars in this world. So they they celebrate them, you know, they celebrate them. Again, we're going to be celebrated in the kingdom of heaven, okay? And um, so I got, and, and how we're going to be celebrated? In the book of life, okay? The book of life. So that's the main point of the show, Lord willing. I just want to go into the book of life. There's some scriptures on that. Not going to be too long, Lord, Lord willing. We'll see. And um, and while I play this, you know, as I was growing up, I mean, the craziest fans, I, I which I don't see who matches that, is fans of Michael Jackson, people like, or the, you know, people who went fanatic and crazy and over celebrity. Michael Jackson, who was greatly celebrated in his world. I mean, on the person I can think of was Michael Jordan. You know what I mean? Where fans act crazy, man. And that's how the elect are. That's how the nation of Israel is going to be for us. And uh, why? Because the elect men were going to be written. We're going to be, they're not, we're going to, they, they're written in the, in the book of life. You know, this story of, of the elect who are the men, who are the men of Yahweh Bashina uh, Shai, uh, they're going to be always be talked about. Why? Because we still stow stiffly for the name of the Lord. Okay, so let's get right into it. 
Okay, we're gonna just gonna bring our scriptures on the book of life and whatever I have. I had some I wrote down. All right, let me play this while I'm uh, talking here because this is what it's gonna be. Hopefully, it's not too loud. It's a Michael Jackson fan tribute, you know. And um, basically, again, how we're gonna be celebrated is how the nation of Israel and the whole world really <laughs> is gonna be uh, to the men of the Lord. Okay. Always want to see his crowds. And just that's how uh, when the Lord was here, that's the same thing with him. Okay, when the Lord was here, of course, he had enemies and big tumults trying to get him. But more so, the Lord was talking to 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 uh, people in the crowd, you know. And, and, and when he was done making his speeches, he would walk on and people would follow him and, 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 and walk with him like our entourage, touching him, trying to grab his garment, trying to take his virtue, you know. So this is this is this is what it's about. So let's get right to it. This is um Revelation chapter three verse five. Just gonna let the spirit go. Oops, lock my book. This is rip. All right, Revelation three verse five. Okay. It says, let's see if I lower it a little bit. Yeah. Now we all know Mike was a warlock, you know what I mean? So I know, but you should know where I'm going with this. Hold up, slap. Oh boy, yeah, that's that's Satan, man. I'm trying to load a volume in it. What the hell? Oh boy, man. What the? Oh, they go, they go Satan, man. I oh, oh, oh my god. All right, man. Cause I ain't I ain't do nothing. Oh boy. Man, oh man, I tell you, boy, uh, man, you know, I can't edit this. You know, I'm trying to pull it up. I want to play in the background. All right, I'm getting annoyed. All right, let me just go. Um, pull it up real quick. So, lock. So, lock. know what happened with that. This holiday, save on the gifts. I am getting annoyed, man. We're talking 20% off Nike. Fucking save. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, load the volume. Okay, it's a lot. All right. So this is Revelation. It's three and five. Let's see where I'll start. Okay, I'm just going to read um, verse 5, okay? It says, uh, Revelation chapter 3, verse 5, it reads, Thou hast, thou hast, it's like, he that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment. Okay, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Again, it reads, he that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment. And what's that white raiment? That white raiment is is um, when we get saved. When we the white raiment, the white raiment represents our purity, because the ones who come to the Lord or who believe in the Lord, and, uh, the one third of the nation of Israel, they they they're not there by only one. They're only there by one way, because they have a pure heart. The scriptures talk about. Um, the ones who have a pure heart are are, are, are are going to be saved by the Lord. Okay. Just want to lower it a little bit. All right. They're going to be, uh, the ones who have a pure heart is going to be uh, saved by the Lord. Okay. Like uh, Tahar, right? Apostle Tahar's name. Tahar means pure, right? We have to be Tahar, pure. Okay. Um, let me get a, a quick precept to that one. This is um this is at the Lord's mouth. This is uh this is uh, uh, Saint John sixteen. It reads thirty three. It says, "I'm starting from thirty two. It says, behold, which means to look, 
The hour cometh, yea, is now come, that ye shall be scattered, every man to his own, and shall leave me alone. And yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. The point, it says, the things that I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. And us being scattered, we were scattered out of the land of Israel. We were scattered when we overall, really the last leg of the scattered was when we were sieged by um, uh, the Romans, the Roman army in uh, 70 AD, when we were sacked that the Lord prophesied about. And from there, we were totally never back in that land. We scattered into the interior uh, uh, of Africa, which is the wilderness, like it says in Revelation, the 12th chapter, and mostly in the west coast of Africa. And we, we even uh, migrated into the Asia Minor and other parts of Europe, you know, you know, that's hence the Moors when we conquered Europe. OK. But overall, the Lord says these things and then you're going to be about to be scattered now. We, you know, Jacob's trouble is coming and people, the people's brains are going to be scattering because they've been lied to by other false camps and false leaders. Number one. And you churches, you, you're just a joke. OK. Even a so-called white man laughs, laughs. All nations on earth laugh at the black church, Christianity. You, you're a joke. OK. And that's why people don't believe because of your, uh, 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 you know, the, 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 the nonsense that goes on in these churches and their whole understanding it doesn't make any sense. What the hell does the Lord have to come back to, you know, to this world, right? Only for destruction, as you can see. Um, but anyway, you, your people are about to be scattered. Your brain, brain's about to be scattered out here when she hit the fan. They said, but these things I've spoken on to you, that enemy ye might have peace because the Lord warned us of all these tough times and hard times to come. That you sell out niggas like Pumpkin Henryani, Jay Z, uh, brother Sabar, Elder Sabar just did a video on hey, Jay Z. That that nigga straight bugged out, man. Having literally shit locks that literally don't move. I mean, he could be in a hurricane. That shit would still stay still, man. This guy is totally bugged out. His his mentor is a goddamn witch. I forget her name. She has black hair. He's he's a thirty third degree high mason, a thirty third degree mason. They're on the level of prime ministers and presidents, man. You can't be president or prime minister, prime minister if, unless you're a 30, 30 degree mason. This guy's a high level warlock. All right. It says, right. But them, them niggas, see, they sold themselves to not go to the tough times to get the biddings from the devil. And we're going to bring our scripts on that. These things are spoken on to you that in me, you might have peace in the world. You shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I will overcome the world. Okay. But in the world, we're going to have tribulation. Even amongst the, world, the nation of Israel. But it said, be, be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. And the Lord has overcome the world. Okay. He's overcome the nation of Israel by dying for the whole nation and bringing us back to the king, bringing us back to the father. And he's overall overcome the world by, by what? By, by, by the faith and the power and the will of the Heavenly Father that he believed. Okay. He believed he was the son of the Heavenly Father. He came here to do an order. Right. And he overcame by the spirit of the Heavenly Father. Right, which we are to do the same thing. The reason we're here to do videos and, and go on and prophesy, because why? We stand in the spirit of Yahweh Shemai Shai, right? And that's how we're able to overcome all the trouble that we go through our life. And especially y'all, this is this is this moment in the, in the time of the of the, of the grace uh, of Yahweh Shai to get this knowledge. The Lord has prepared us for the next level to come, which is all out hell. But we're gonna be good while you people scatter. Back to Revelation uh, three and five. It says, he that overcometh the things, the same shall be clothed in a white raiment, right? Which means that purity, right? Like I said, Revelation, the fifth chapter, palms in our hands, right? Uh, all nations were saved. It says, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. You see, because the ones that white raiment represents purity, just like when a, 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 a virgin gets married, right? That white uh, uh, uh dress or, or dress she has on gown is supposed supposed to represent purity obviously that's not the case in this world but that's what it represents so that white raiment represents the pure hearts of uh the men of the lord okay you can't come no other way and there's very few pure spirits here on earth all right and the lord was pure it says and i will not blot out his name out of the book of life so those pure men the elect right and the one-third Namely, they elect the government body of the nation of Israel. Those are, that's the government body, man. We're going to be written in the book of life. We're already in the book of life. That's why we fight to be in the book of life and to be saved to the Lord. Hopeful elect. See, the, the life also, the life is Yahweh Shai. He says, I'm the way, I'm the truth, I'm the life. No man come unto the Father but by me. Okay. 
He, the Lord gives out the issues of death. Okay? He is the Alpha and Omega. He killeth and maketh alive. So he is life. Okay? And you come into the words and all of it and understanding of the Bible, you receive life because we're gonna we're gonna save our lives from this destruction overall. You know, this is what this is about. And being in being with our Lord, Yahweh Shai. It says, but I will see, but it says, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. And that's why we're here. Starting with the apostles of GMS. The, they, they're up there doing the work of the Lord. Why? Because only one reason. Because Yahweh Shai has confessed their name before the Heavenly Father. Okay? That's heavy. That's why they're still able to do uh, what they're doing for 30 plus years. That's why they're able to do and break down dark parables and spirits. Uh, uh, spirits, uh, uh, sp scriptures, you know, and, and have a great fruit flock of what you see within GMS. Not in this country, but all over the world, man. Ever since the apostles did the YouTube in 07, up until now, now, look at look at the movement of Yahweh Shemai Shai. Okay, so you best believe Yahweh Shai is having conversations to Yahweh, Yahweh the Most High about the apostles and, and on down. Okay, it says, But I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. He that had to hear, let him hear what the Spirit says under the churches. All right, so that was one precept. Let's get the next one. Um, Revelation. Oops, lock. Let me get this one real quick because I think I said a comment. Oh, you said coming about the sellouts. All right, this is um, this is Baruch. You know. I'm just gonna get random moves, man. I'm just gonna get random moves and read. This is Baruch. Salak. Not too fast getting to the scriptures, man. You know? Alright, Baruch chapter chapter four, verse one, it reads. This is the book of the commandment. Of the Most High and the law that endureth forever. All that they keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. And again, the Lord is the book of life. The Lord says he comes in a volume of the book. It is written of me. So what is this? The, the scriptures is the is the Lord. The Lord is the word of the Heavenly Father. He act, he's actually the word. He's the Bible. He so which means he is the life. Okay, he controls life and death. All right. Ultimate life comes through the knowledge of, of which <laughs> Ultimate life comes through the breath of life, okay, which is the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh by Shema Shai, man. And it all starts with what? The fear of the commandments, okay? To believe in the Lord, you got to fear the commandments again. And again, following commandments, you're freeing yourself from death because the wages of sin is what? Death. The most sin, you and what is sin? A transgression of the law, a transgression of the commandments that was given unto us, right? Again, so it says, this is the book of the commandments of the Most High that was given to the nation of Israel, by the way. Okay, the chosen. And the law that endureth forever. Okay, forever, man. You ain't supposed to stop doing these laws. Right? The Lord says, I, come to, I didn't come to break the laws, I come to fulfill. All they that keep it shall come to life. You see? But such as leave it shall die. Now, we can't keep the 100% laws of 100%. Right? I'm wearing a shirt that could be mixed cloth, clothes. I'm eating food that could have been choked or strangled or whatever. You know? So we're... We're rehearsing, but we can, in this realm, cannot keep it 100%, all right? So it says, um, all, unlike, uh, you know, vocab, those idiots say. we the, the GMS does not promote doing 100%. That's impossible, okay? We, that's, that's a lie. So it says, um, again, Salaka says, all they that keep it shall come to life. Oh, oh hold up. Let me bring it back. Again, this is gonna be this is gonna be us. In, well, a version of it, not us, literally. But you know, we can be celebrated. Why? Because we we still so stuffy for Yahweh Shai. It says, it says, but such as leave it shall die. Right. So you leave this commandment, you're gonna die. Very simple. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. Okay. Not going into Illuminati and being part of that. They inquire because the Illuminati, they believe in a sun worship and a star is a, is a lesser sun. So the, the sun represents, you know, the elite banking families, the international bankers, which they literally believe in the dark star, worship of the sun, sun god, sun god Ra. But then you have lesser, you have other celestial beings, which are the stars, lesser suns, right? Which are your celebrities, 
okay, that you worship today, right? And um, they're part of the Illuminati, but that's the fake uh, Nadi, like I say, because that illuminated, illuminated, right? The scriptures say represents knowledge and ultimate knowledge and the true knowledge, again, in its pure form is the knowledge of Yahweh Shema the knowledge of the commandments, the knowledge of the nation of Israel, the knowledge of the, the name of the Lord, right? That's the ultimate knowing of, our, of the name of the Lord and what it, and who he chose and what he's coming back to do, all right? And ultimately, he's coming back to destroy the two-thirds of the nation of Israel and put you so-called white people, the nation of Edom, into hardcore bondage and slavery, okay? And those who don't believe in reincarnation, explain to me Revelation 3, 1 and 3, a vocab and all you... you, you, you Goddamn comedian, you're a goddamn joke, man. Anyway, explain that. The Lord says that He's going to come back for the ones that pierce Him. Are they still walking around to two thousand years, three thousand years old? Right over two thousand years old? No. So that would that's this one man. You can't get around that one, man. What is that talking about? Of course, they're going to flip it. Well, He's going to come back for the ones that pierced Him, you know, through the devil and didn't follow. His no, He's going to come back from what they literally stuck a, a spear in his side. Okay, they're here today. That's reincarnation. All right. Uh, all right. So. Um, all right. So that was that. I'm just going to get quick ones. Next one is. Um, let's go to the next book of life. This is. Uh, Revelation 13 and 8. OK, I'm only pulling this up again. If you just join in, you know, we're going to be celebrated like that. The men of the Lord. And this is how it was when Yahweh Shai was, you know, crowds like that. Okay. Uh, Revelation chapter 13, verse 8. It reads. Let's see where I should start. Okay, Reve Revelation 13, verse 8. It says, and I'm just going to get quick points. It says, and and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Let me start a little up. Um, I'll start from verse. This is Revelation 13 and 4. It said, well, I don't want it's going to take too much. I don't want to go into that too much. It says um, verse 7. It says, and it was given unto him to, to make war with the saints and overcome them, and power was given over him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. Okay, and that's talking about the so-called white man to destroy how he destroyed our people, the nation of Israel. All right. And it says, and, and, and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. Okay. Worship him, which is what the devil, the so-called white man, whose names are not written in the book of life of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If any man have an ear, let him hear. And also includes you two thirds, man, who didn't obey the commandments of the Lord, you know, which it ultimately is what? Is is the commandments and his word and the prophecies that we are that was given us to that we were made to follow. You know, we weren't we weren't designed to be evil or off or not follow. Our our bodies and our spirit were designed for these laws, man, because why? We are the chosen. We are the leg of, of we are the body of Yahweh Shemai Shai. Okay? And it says, and all that dwell upon earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb and slain from the foundation of the world. All right? So I just picked some random ones. All right, so that's another book of life. So the ones who are not big, big, written in the book of life, you sellouts, you're going to be destroyed. Why? Because you're, you're bought with a price. You should have never sold out. This is you should have sold out for the Lord. Matter of fact, since I said that, let me get this one. This is um, Wisdom of Solomon, six and two. Since I said that, you should you should have sold out for the Lord, okay, to be a true celebrity in His kingdom. All right, which would really only be the men, okay, and that proves that at the end of the day, the only people who should be celebrated are men, men of the Lord. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 21. Why? Because the kingdom of heaven is what? King, the prefix king is a gender. King, men, dumb, domicile, dominion, rulership, right? A gender of men ruling over land masses that they conquered and fought for, all right? Because you can't 
have a dominion without fighting for that dominion or domain. All right. That, and, and you can't rule the land without fighting for that land. So what does that mean? That's why it proves that Daniel's, uh, what, uh, 7 and 8, uh, Daniel 7 18, I forget. Uh, the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. Okay, why? Because the Lord's going to claim this land. He's going to invade this hellhole, America, and this world. And he's gonna about to claim this place, man. Okay. Um, and establish the nation of Israel. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 21. It reads, shall I start? It says, um, I'm going to start from 17, but the points in 21, it says, for, for every true... For the very, for the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline, <laughs> and that's what makes you. That's what the word disciple means. Disciple literally means a disciplinary, and you can't be disciple of the Lord without being disciplined. In what? Discipline means following set of rules, which all goes back to the commandments. Everything goes back to the commandments, man. That's what you people don't realize. Uh, wisdom, knowledge, understanding. You want to find out the habits and the mannerisms of the Most High Lord is the commandments. We were given these commandments, and guess what? If you don't follow them, you're actually committing sin. You're accumulating death onto you, man. Okay, that's why in the new world, we're not going to die, right? Because the Lord's going to give us new bodies, okay? Which is not, which is immortal, extraterrestrial bodies. We're, we're not going to sin. We're going to be perfect like the Lord, all right? When the Lord came back here, he, he, he was, it said that he was a little lower than the angels, you know? But he, was, he didn't commit no sin, and we're going to be on our level, on a, on a higher level. Like the Lord when he comes back. We're going to be glorified like the Lord. And just like this, you're going to be acting, man. Okay. Uh, um, it says, uh, Salak. For every true bit, beginning of her is the des desire of discipline. And the care of discipline is love. Again, love goes back to the commandments, man. Okay. I'm going to see if we get a quick preset. And, and the care of discipline is love. Yeah, because if you really care for something, right, if you really love something, you're going to be disciplined to take care of it, whether it be a person, whether it be a car, whether it be a shoe, whatever. You're going to be, you're yeah, going to have a set of rules how you're going to deal with that because you, you care for it, you love it, right? Just like the Lord. If you if you love the Lord and care for the Lord, you got to show, show and prove. I was trying to get a quick precept, I can't find it. So anyway, it says... um. Salah. It says, and love is the keeping of her laws, you see, and the giving, and it says, and the giving, giving heed unto her laws is the, is, is the insurance of incorruption, okay? We follow these laws, we won't be corrupt. We won't be corrupt like you, your neighbors and you people you know in the world and you people at your job, you people in your family. You know what I mean? People out in the streets next to you. People out, the two-thirds of the nation of Israel, they're corrupt. Especially your politicians and your like, people in the... And, and, well, overall, your celebrities, which you pointed to show, you know? They, they, they're corrupt. They take blood black, blood baths. You see what uh, the... What's it? Some, one of the Jenners, the the, the, the girlfriend of... Uh, um, what's, the, what's the dude? Uh, Travis Scott. Um... Taking take, taking a photo picture of, of, of her being doused in blood, you know. DMX did that, you know. All these celebrities do these horrific things. You know, I gotta get a little raw. They drink drink sperm. Hey, these these are satanic rituals. They do that, okay? They uh, in in the, in the movie uh, Good Shepherd, which is really about Senior Bush, you know, which is going into the the fraternity, the fraternal order of the Harvard or Skull and Bones Society, which is a secret society. That all your people, elected officials are in your presidents, right? Your politicians, right? These devils, uh, they got they got to wrestle in, 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 in mud and, well, excuse me, in shit and piss. They got to wrestle in shit while getting pissed on, okay? They got to they gotta get butt naked in a casket and tell each other secrets, man. These are the people that you vote for. Okay, that's corrupt. Okay, that's what you can do when you, when you sell out. And, uh, and a whole, a whole, a whole a host of other things, man. Okay, a whole host of other things. Okay, bring it back again. All right, it says, "In love is the keeping of our laws, and the giving heed unto our laws is the insurance of incorruption, 
and in corruption maketh us near unto the Most High. Okay, that's right. Therefore, the desire of wisdom bringeth to the kingdom. Okay, ultimate wisdom is going to bring you the kingdom because why? The beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. Okay, you don't fear the Lord. Uh, 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 what does scripture say? Uh, we persuade men because we we have we the terror with the terror of the Lord we persuade men. We're terrified of the Lord too. That that honorable reverence because we know what He's going to do in these last days. Okay. We have a true understanding. That's why we're here doing the work. Because we're more, for, more so terrified. Okay? We fear the Lord. And that's why we do the commandments. Because we know if we don't, what's going to happen, man? And you sellouts, man. Whew. You got, you got, you're going to go out in bad ways. Anyway, if if your delight, this is the point. This is what you should have done. If your delight, because what does a sellout do? He sell out because he, he wants to escape poverty. He wants to escape oppression. Right? Surely oppression make a wise, a wise man mad. And a gift is stored at the heart. You know, that's that's a, uh, Ecclesiastes 7 7, which is a basically a sellout script. Okay, and that gift really represents a bribe because really you're not getting gifts in it and in, in, in for for um really um, um, rising in society by doing being a big movie star or whatever have you, or dancer, or singer, you know, or a celebrity. You got to sacrifice certain things, you got to sacrifice your integrity, your body, your family, blood sacrifice. You got to kill some people, you know. You got to do satanic rituals, okay? So all, all to have your name in the billboard and you're still going through misery. But this right here, you should have done this. If you're delight, why? Because they, they, didn't want, they didn't want to be in together. They didn't want to suffer no more. They wanted to live it up and get the riches now, but they gave up their integrity to, to get that. We're talking about disgusting things, ultimately satanic things. It says, if your delight be then in thrones and scepters, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. And that's the point. If you really delighted those pleasant things, right, which really belong to men, it is really going to the men, right? If you delight, if, if your delight being thrones, all right, being in a, a throne, a king's throne and scepters, because these men living like kings, Puff Daddy, Jay-Z, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, all these sellouts, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, you know, um, they're, they're living on thrones, man, Shaq. Fuck rich as hell, man. Billionaires, rip millionaires. Oh, ye kings of the people, honor wisdom, because they're literally your kings and your leaders, right? Honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore, but they don't honor wisdom. They look wisdom is a fear of the commandments, they look down on that. Alright. Um anyway, that was a quick point. So you should reign forevermore. Okay. Um, let me get these real quick before I finish off in some book of life scriptures. This is Corinthians. 7 and 23. Okay. Let me see where I start. Uh, this is verse 17. Uh, let me see what it goes into. But uh, the point's in 21. Corinthians 7 and 23. It's locked. It says, um, but as the Most High hath distributed to every man, as the Lord hath called everyone, so let him walk, and, and so adorn I in, in all the churches. Let me just get to the point on this. Verse 23, it says, um, it says, ye are bought with a price. Be ye not servants of men. That's straight to the point. Again, be, be ye, excuse me, sorry, ye are bought Ye are bought with a price. Who's bought with a price? The nation of Israel. Let me get the big sign over here. It's a lot. Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty big, huh? All right. This is, you were bought with a price, Israel. You see? You were bought with a price, all you. And all who descends from these people. Okay? You were bought with a price. These are your, your holy names on the, on, the, on this side here. Oh, this up. Uh, yeah, these are your holy names. Okay. You were bought with a price. How? By the blood. The blood of the Lord. The blood of the Lord, man. So you don't own yourself. You don't own your body. This body's for rent. And we don't want the body no more. We don't want these bodies. We want the new body. We're we done with this lease. We're done with this crap. We want the new bodies, man. 
And that lease don't stop. That's forever. Okay. Uh, uh, no usury. No credit. Well, yeah, there's a credit check for the bodies, though. <laughs> and that's doing the work. Okay. The credit check for the new bodies is doing the work. Okay. That's your credit. Bill ye treasures up in heaven. Okay. Uh, 7 to 23. It reads. It's like ye, ye are bought with a price. Be ye, be not ye servants of men. That's a cut. All right. So we're, 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 we're not, that's a commandment. We're not supposed to be serving men. And all you sell outside there, that's what you've done. You've served men and uh, not only regular men, but the devil. All right. You're working for the Almakites. I can't say the real name. I got a clip, but you're working for Alma, Al Almakite, man. Who controlled the Diamond District, the movie industry, Hollywood, who owned that, who owned the Brownstone buildings in, in New York, who owned, who owned every goddamn, who owned news stations, food uh, networks, uh, uh, FDA, war organizations, companies, uh, countries, banks, and overall banks. You know? Overall banks. And they control the money. And you sold out to them. And they're just men. You should have sold out to the Lord. If you desire thrones, right, and scriptures, you should have sold out to the Lord, man. And that, and that, and that man, and, and that, that amount of glory and majestic things that uh, hopefully the, the elect are going to get, you, you can't even put into words, man. You know, you can't even put into words what we're going to get. Okay, next one. Uh, six and 20, all right? Uh, uh, Corinthians 6 and 20 reads For ye are brought, bought with a price Therefore glorify your, the most high In your body and in your spirit Which which are Yahweh's Yahweh by Shemar Shai Oh excuse me it's like I read it wrong For ye are bought with a price Therefore glorify Yahweh by Shemar Shai In your body Doing a work, confessing his name Saying so stiffly, prophesying in his name Bringing up the truth right? Mark the unperfect man Calling out false camps False leaders, all right? Exposing the wicked of Vocab Malone, all right? And all these other, all these other, you know, clowns out there, Sakari, IUIC. Okay, that's how you glorify the Lord and, and confess the name of your father. Usher in the name of the Lord and condemn the wicked, right? Because the scriptures say the most high is angry the wicked every day. Wicked every day. So what's wicked on the, the, the Lord? The scriptures say that what? Two things that there's nothing more wicked than, than the wickedness of a woman. Through her, we all die. So you know the Lord's come back for your asses, man. You women are the fucking problem. You're gonna be dealt with, and it's start, it's starting now. And it's just gonna escalate. So why did you help this man shot? We're not gonna feel sorry for you, man. At all. All the men, all the men you put anyway, I'm going off. And then the other point is, is uh 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 Salak is um What was the other point? Well, I forgot. It says, uh, therefore glorify the most high in your body, all right, and in your spirit, which are which are gods, okay? That's what scripture say, yeah, we are gods, okay? The Lord, the Lord, Lord willing, the hopeful elect, you know, which I pray I am a hopeful, that's what we say. I'm, I'm a hopeful elect, I pray I'm a elect. But if that's the case, and all of us that do videos, who's ever out there, right, uh, and, and and newcomers, you know what the, what's going on is that the the people who are talking who have the spirit on the Lord of them, they uh, may very well be angels, man. We're just angels in in, in a human body, human form, bringing it his truth. Okay, <clears throat> that's who all the prophets were. That's why they're written in the book. They're written in the book of life. And we're again, we're gonna be celebrated anyway. Uh, okay, next one. So I'm going to go to Book of Life Scriptures now. This is, um, matter of fact, let me get one more bought with a price scripture. I just see another one I wrote down. Sirach chapter 33, verse 30. And I'm going to, you know, finish off some Book of Life Scriptures of Revelation and finish there. Let me get a Sirach. 3330. It reads. Okay. Uh, Sirach 3330 reads. 
back again. Oh. It says, If thou have a servant, let him be unto thee as thyself, because thou hast bought him with a price. All right? And so that's the point to show that if we're servants of the Lord, right, we're to act like him. Again, it says, If thou have a servant, when you have a servant, let him be unto thee as thyself. So when you have a servant, you're supposed to have a servant serving you as, as your as and you're his master, all right? You're supposed to bring him up as yourself. Okay. They're supposed to be liking unto you. If thou have a servant, let him be unto thee as thyself, because thou hast bought him with a price. And why? Because you bought him with a price as well. Okay, you invested in him. Okay, and this is really going to the laws as well. And when we had a business, you know, you would you would work for a man for six, seven years. Right. And um, and then after your seventh year, you are in our laws. We were taught our own trait. Right. It's like an apprenticeship or a journeyman, so to speak. You know, we were in a, we had a, our own apprenticeship in the laws of the of the most high. You see the righteous laws of the Lord. And we got paid every day, too. You know, there was no usury among our people, too. But you see this devil, what he does to us. Anyway, usury and not paying us every withholding tax, tax, uh, to paying your tax. Come on. Right, taxes every year. So it says, uh, it's locked. It says, uh, if thou have a sermon, let him be unto thee as thyself, because thou hast bought him with a price. Okay. If thou have a servant, entreat him as a brother, for thou hast need of him as of thine own soul. If thou entreat him evil, so that was a the point there. And the Lord did call his brothers too. Okay. Well, uh, now let's just finish off with some Book of Life scriptures. I got a few set up. I got like four or five here. We'll finish there. All right, this is Revelation. As a matter of fact, I got to get this one. Revelation chapter 13. Uh, Revelation chapter 17, verse 8. Got like four scriptures on Book of Life here. And we'll finish there. Revelation chapter 17, verse 8, it reads... And it says, and the beast that thou sawest was and is not, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit. And bottomless pit represents Europe, but bottomless pit represents anywhere Esau dwells, the so-called white man, the nation of Edom. Because according to the curses going back to uh, to Cain, which Esau, and or the nation of Edom, you so-called white people, your spirit goes back to, to Cain, all right? And our spirit goes back, the nation of Israel, so-called blacks, Latin Native Americans, our spirit goes back to uh, Abel, all right, our forefather, all right, you being the spirit of Cain, Cain got cursed with what, um, uh, when he killed his brother Abel, is the Lord said the, the earth would not yield its increase for you, it will not produce any food for you, when you go to cultivate the land, it will not produce anything for you, why, because you spilled your own blood, brother's blood in his land, that's why, well, this scripture says, that's why the so-called white man, he is the spirit of Cain, which Cain means a weapon, because what did he do? He came over here and killed our brothers and Native Americans. And then he also uh, 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 killed uh, Jacob. Well, all Jacob, we're all so-called black, brought into slavery. A lot of blood we shed here in America. So there's only one way the Most High is going to make that right. Or make that balanced or make that equal. Because the law is equal. It's equity, right? This is the way. It's Habakkuk. Chapter, matter of fact, let me get numbers is a, is, is a better one. They're both good, but I like uh, I like numbers because that literally tells you, that's a, like a law. All right, numbers. It says 35 and 33. It says, so, so, so you shall not pollute the land wherein you are. For blood, for blood, for blood defileth the land. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. And that's straight. So the only way you're going to be cleansed, this land's going to be cleansed, is that the people who spill the, the nation of Israel's blood, their blood has to spill, and everything's equal now. All right? And that we're coming to that, to that time. Okay? Now back to Revelation 17, verse 8. It reads, the beast that saw us was not and is not and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit, which is talking about America, 
all right? The, the, the system of the Roman Empire, the beast, all right? And you about to get introduced to the MOTB, which represents this system, the mark of the beast, right? And go into perdition, right? This place is going to be destroyed. It says, and they that dwell on the earth shall wonder whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world when they behold the beast that was and is not and yet is to come. And here is the mind which hath wisdom, the seven heads and, and seven mountains on which the woman sitteth. All right. So that goes into EU and, 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 and 10 car markets, the European Union, NATO, which is ultimately uh, the uh, America is part of that. But we're not going to get into that. We're just going to bring out again that what it said that it says the ones who it says, and they that dwell on earth shall wonder whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world. All right. So the ones who don't believe in the truth of, of Yahweh Shema Shah, you're not going to be in the book of life. You're not going to be celebrated in the kingdom of heaven, man. And we're all going to be kings and on thrones and all that. And you're going to be, of course, the chosen. But who is really going to be celebrated? Who's going to be the celebrities of the nation of Israel? Let me say it right. We're all going to be celebrated in the kingdom. All right, let's get that clear. All right, on, a, on an exponential level that we beyond know. But even above that, all right, the, the, the Yahweh Shai. And his men will be celebrated, man. The 144 are literally Yahweh Shai's brethren. They're his mates. They're, they're, his, they're, they're his men. You know, his entourage, his team, his team. You got Michael Jordan, he got a team. Michael Jackson, he had, he had a, a dancing team, you know, a workout team. Yahweh Shai, same thing. He has a team. That's the 144,000. 144, the A team. <laughs> That's a show, right? The A team. 144,018, because we're going to be celebrated just like that. Okay. Remember a dream by a brother out of, forget his name, beautiful dream. It says the title was out of dream of the kingdom. That was, that's like my favorite uh, vision from a brother. And um, that one, he said that he had a dream that the elect would visit the, you know, the, what we call now the two thirds, but they're going to be righteous in the kingdom. We, they didn't see us all the time. Just like we don't see these idiots around you know i've been met i haven't seen jay-z not like that but um they're not going to really see us like that and when they do see us it's going to be like this because we're going to be on another level man we're going to be celebrated all right celebrated okay especially amongst other nations revelation 20 verse 2 12 it reads and i um and i saw the dead, small and great, stand before the Most High, and the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And, and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works, right? And the sea gave up the dead which were in the which were in, in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whoever is not and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire again. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast in the lake of fire. So the ones who are not going to be written in the book of life are the non-elect, the two-thirds. All right? That's the second death. Okay? You don't want to be a part of that one. You want to be part of the first resurrection. Not, and this is the first resurrection to wake up now. The second death is 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 the destruction of America because the first death was what was was the um, was the days of Noah. The Lord said we're in the days of Noah. So the first death was um, the days of Noah. The second death, which was that world was flooded by water, this is going to be flooded by fire, especially America, which is when we be, get beamed up in holy majestic chariots, we're going to look down, and it's going to look like a lake of fire, man. You got and and, and it, again, the elect are going to be written in the book of life. Okay, and you're going to be judged out of the, the laws of here. Okay, the laws that you laugh, you laugh at, you, you mock at, you scoff at. You got people think this is a fairy tale out there, right? We're going to see. We're going to see. Because nothing, this, this, this Albright teacher don't look like a fairy tale, man. Okay, the martial law don't look like a fairy tale. Austerity measures, people dying, that don't look like a fairy tale, man. Anarchy, that don't look like a fairy tale, man. That's all in the scriptures. The chariots and the Lord, come, come, come back to the Lord and the spiritual power. That's not a fairy tale. And you can see, man. You know, keep keep doing what you're doing out there, man. Laughing and scoffing. You know, we can't wait. 
We have the last laugh. Revelation um, 21, verse 27. Two more. Revelation 21, verse 27. I know how time goes so fast, man. Boy. Anyway, if you're still around, it's Revelation 20 and 27. 21, 27, it reads, And there shall in no wise enter it, enter into it anything that defileth neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie, but but they which are written in the book, in the Lamb's book of life. In the Lamb's book of life. Who is the Lamb? Yahweh Shai. Okay. Yahweh Shai is the Lamb. Okay. So the ones who are not written in the, in the book of life, the Lamb book of life, which is the one who are going to be saved, that's it. You're just going to be destroyed in this time, man. And you're going to be brought back after a thousand years, one full day, and be born back into the kingdom. And you're going to, and you're just going to feel like a dream to you because you're going to be in the kingdom. But, you know, you're going to have to be told about these days because when you're going to be born in the kingdom, that's, that's the real world. We're not in the world. This is a nightmare. You're not in the real world now. Okay. And you're going to look back and be like, damn. But at least you, you're an Israelite and you can be righteous. All right. Uh, Revelation 22 and 19. Last scripture. Revelation 22, verse 19. I just wanted to read. I know each of these have a little lengthy, but I just want to get to the point. You know, this is already 50 minutes. Revelation 22 and 19, it reads. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, right? Which the prophecy means to say before. And a lot of people are saying that because you've got a lot of people who, who, who claim to believe in the Bible. They're not talking about, they're taking out the prophecy. They're taking out the things that are supposed to be said before they happen, right? You, if you're not talking about the FRD chip, you're, you're taken out from the scriptures, man. All right. They don't only mean rewriting it if you teach it the wrong way. If you're saying the mark of the beast is a bargain agreement. If you're saying Jacob's trouble is not going to come. You know how, how much misleading people, how much, how bad you're misleading people? It's like basically that someone, like let's say I live with somebody here and, and they know that a hurricane is coming. Right, a tornado is coming. When, actually, they don't got to live here. Let's say someone I know is talking to me and they know a hurricane is coming in three days, but they don't tell me. They say, don't worry, you're going to be right. Just you have the insurance, you're going to be fine. It's going to take care of it, you know. You're still going to have your house, but your insurance is going to take care of it. No. You had to warm ass to let me get out, you know. And I could fortify my home so I won't get destroyed. So I won't have to rely on my insurance company. All right. But you see, you're not insuring the people. You know, you're showing where the lies and you're taking, you're taking away from the book. If you teach them that there's no trouble before the, before the Lord comes back. And not only that, the ones who actually change up, uh, 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 you know, the, the, the understanding of the word of the Lord. You know, like vocab Malone and all these other idiots out there. Again, it says, and there shall in no wise enter in, enter into it. It says, anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie. All right, and you make a, you're making a lie out of the Bible, man, saying that it's for everybody. That's a lie. It's a lie. That's of the devil, man. Right? What is the devil? The devil's a liar. Did, did you teach in that Christian school? The devil's a liar. Okay. So that's of a lie, man. Neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. All right. So that that's it there, man. And I was, remember having a conversation when I, I'm on the bar, and we were talking, um, talk about getting beamed up. You shared something with me. I'm gonna share it, per, share it, because that was personal, you know. Um, but we were talking about him getting, we were talking about beamed up. And we, we were coming, you know, we were just, you know, speculating, spiritual speculating that, you know, low, you know, I, I kind of see where that, that we may, we may get crowned when we get beamed up, you know, the ceremony uh, may happen when we get beamed up to the Lord, you know, you know, uh, beamed up in, in, in the twinkle of an eye, uh, like the Lord said, matter of fact, let me get one last scripture, man. Uh, stand so stiffly. Let, let's get that, let's get that account, man. And then I'll finish there. This is a, uh, um, where is that again? This is uh, Ezra's second chapter. Yeah, Ezra's second chapter. I'm going to read this and I'll be it. And um, basically, 
that we, you know, I believe, you know, I'm speculating spiritual, spiritual speculation, you know, that, uh, spiritual, spiritual speculation, you know, we make that a billboard about there, just make that known. But, you know, I believe that we, we, we could, we could get crowned up in the, up, uh, up in the chariots when we get beamed up and that there will be a ceremony held in the chariots because that makes sense because when we come down like Revelation 21, 21 and three says, uh, I saw new Jerusalem or the kingdom of heaven come down, uh, from heaven, which means really the men of the Lord are going to come down with their new bodies, you know, with spiritual bodies, the eternal, uncorruptible bodies, you know, which are eternal, you know, and, you know, I would, I, you would have to get crowns in our head for us to, to, before we come down and, and, and to do that, you know, so this ceremony might happen right before the one third of the nation of Israel, right in the, in the chat, the chat is bigger than earth, you know. And the one third is going to be cheer, cheering us on. They're going to be crying. You know, you're going to have your family, your wives, your friends, your kids. It's going to be like a graduation. You know, you know, when we go up there, get the, you know, the Lord cry. Hey, you know, I know him. I know, you know, yeah, you're going to be pointing. What are we going to do that? We're going to be crying. Oops. Praise the Lord. But let's read and I'll finish. Uh, Second Ezra chapter. It says, um, uh, two and 42. And it says, I, Ezra, and this is, you can correlate to the Revelation, the fifth chapter, you know, the nations, all the ones that were saved, uh, uh, the elect out of the nation of Israel, the nation of Israel. It says, I, Ezra, saw op upon the Mount Sion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest. <laughs> Read it against the lock. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of high stature, taller than all the rest. And who's that? Yahweh Shai. He was, he's a young man. Okay. A young man. A, a beautiful young man. Huh? A young a king. Not a young king, but a king. Our young, our, our, our king, man. He looks young, but he's, yeah. Right? It says, it says, um, a young man of high stature, taller than all the rest, and upon every one of their heads, he set crowns, and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that put off, put off the mortal clothing, and put on the immortal Right, and have confessed the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. Now are they crowned and receive palms. This is what you should have sold out for. You sell out. You should have. You should have sold out for the Lord to get this crown and to be and to, and to have an, to be be eternal like our Lord. Again, he answered and said, "These be these be they that have put off the mortal clothing. We're doing that now by doing the work." We put up. We're dead to the world. We're on Mars already to the work to the to the world because we're dead to the body. We're not walking after the body no more. We're walking after the flesh, the spirit. So that's that's the thing. We're walking after the spirit. It's a lot. All right. We're not walking after the flesh. We're walking after the spirit. It says that they have put off the mortal clothing and put on immortal. Right. No more sin. The new bodies. You see. How's the crown? How's the Lord going to crown us in our old bodies? It would have to be the new bodies that He's going to put, put it on. And I believe, Lord willing, it'll be right in them chairs when we get beamed up. And all the one third is going to see, like a big graduation. And I have confessed the name of Yahweh Bashem Shai. Now are they crowned and received palms? Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, It is this, it is the son of Yahweh. Whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to com commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord, Yahabashai, Yahabashimashai. Read it again. So he answered and said unto me, It is the son of Yahweh, whom they have confessed in the world. 
Confess means with say. We came out and said Yahweh Bashemashah. We prophesied and we confessed the name of the Lord. We said it, unlike IUIC. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Right? Just like the ones in Revelation 20, we're going to be, the people, the men, certain men are going to be beheaded for the name. They're going to die for the name of the Lord. We still stood stiffly unto death. And that's what we're praying for. We do this till death, man. And we're already dead. The only life we've got is through the, the Spirit of the Lord through these scriptures. You know, look around you. And not but death, man. Then the angel said unto me, Give, go thy way, and tell my people what manner of things and how great wonders of the Lord thy power they have seen. So it's been an hour. So with that, call halal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Bahashim, Mokokadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who had the 100% spirit behind Bashim and Shai in them. Double honors to the CT elders and, and Shalom to the brothers in this country all over the world prophesying in the name of Yahweh Shem and Shai and standing stiffly for his, for his, for his name. All right? You know, I'm just using that example if you saw the beginning, but hey, we're going to be the true celebrity celebrated in the kingdom of heaven. And this ain't nothing. I mean, we're going to be praised. Why? Because we knew yeah, we know Yahweh Shai, we testified of him, and we stood so stiffly for Yahweh Shai. We're going to be celebrities, man, in the kingdom of heaven. And not like we're looking for that, but we're, look, well, we're looking to be with Yahweh Shai. We're looking to be righteous. That's what we're looking for. And kings and throne comes with that, you know. Anyway, the Lord's going to make us famous, man, because we're the men of the Lord. With that, Kalahal, Yahweh Shai, 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 Shai,